Hey everyone, I'm JP and I'm here with Mississippi from Philadelphia. And they just put out a new EP called We Have No Future, We're All Doomed. <laughs> Good to be here with you, Mississippi. Good to be um, here with you too. So, Zoe and Colin, you guys are the band, right? Yep. Cool. Um, now there's a, there's a little funny story about how you guys met, right? You wanna tell us about that? Um, me and Colin met on Tinder in August 2014. Um, didn't we all? <laughs> didn't we all meet on Tinder? Um, but yeah, we hung out, talked about music stuff, and we were like, maybe we should start a band together. And I was I was doing the Mississippi thing on my own for a while. Um, and Colin told me that they played guitar, and I was like, haha, that would be funny. And then we actually did it. <laughs> so here we are. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's all me. It's all me. Oh, it's all me. <laughs> I'm sorry. So Zoe, let's hear about that cootie catcher. Let's let's play some cool games. Um, does someone else want to hold the cootie catcher? And I'll direct them. Colin, why did you start playing music? This is a fun time. Uh, I don't know if you remember the simpler times of 2006. <laughs> Uh, Guitar Hero 3 is the <laughs> short answer. Uh, you have Stricken by Disturbed, you got that One Rise Against song, you got uh, Sense of Fail. There's a lot of good stuff that you hear it and you're like, you're in sixth grade and you're like, and then everyone like gets a guitar for Christmas too and you're like, well I guess I gotta learn bass now, and then you do. And so that's why. <laughs> and so now I still have a soft spot for like real butt ass rock in my heart. And butt ass rock. Like butt ass rock. <laughs> Okay, so after this pretty good thing has happened, this whole Kississippi thing has happened from from Tinder, <laughs> would, would you recommend Tinder to people looking to be in bands? Highly recommend Tinder. Highly recommend Tinder. Um, if you are in a city where there's like a thriving music scene, um, Tinder is a really good place to find bandmates. I mean, at least in my opinion, but um, most of the people that I've met on Tinder have been in bands. Tinder is a good place. Tinder is a good place. Um, Tinder is a beautiful place. and I'm no, no longer, longer afraid, afraid to uh, swipe right. No longer afraid to swipe right. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> no longer afraid to swipe right. Stay on that, those puns. <laughs> okay, How cool. many questions are left on that thing? Um, we have six facts left. Ooh, we, let's, let's burn through those. Let's okay, burn cool. Bernie Sanders <laughs> through those. <laughs> Oh, this is another one about Colin. Um, Colin, what was your first rated R movie? I don't remember entirely, but it doesn't exactly remember because both answers are great. It was either, both of them were in my house with my dad, and they were both, I think they were both VHS copies too, but I think, depending on which movie it was, we got it from Blockbuster. Uh, it was either This Is Spinal Tap or Speed with Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves. Both are fucking great. I love Speed. That movie rules. It's such a simple premise full of heartache and <laughs> overcoming tribulations. It's very, it's much like life, it's just sometimes it goes too fast and you gotta figure it out. Is that <laughs> great? Does that apply to your experience in Mississippi? With it, what, being too fast, you gotta figure it out, or it being a bus being careening off the rails? <laughs> With is, it, is it like falling in love over the course of two hours? Yeah. Like ingenuity in the face of near near death jumping. Do we jump bridges? So, back to this cool record. Um, Zoe, do you want to tell me what, how this is? This is a lot different than your laundry room cool record, right? Oh, absolutely. Shouts out to Jake. Um, Jakey Wall from Modern Baseball. Corded that one. Um, I did the first EP on my own, so it's a way different sound. It's just like me on acoustic guitar um, in a laundry room. Um, all like garage band stuff. But um, we got to actually get in the studio. Me and Colin did it together, so it's got a darker sound than the first one, for sure. And you guys describe yourself as amp worshippers. Uh, Power, what power pop, uh, pop, pop violence. violence? Yeah, like I mean, I think that comes. That's that's like your thing. You're like your head of the band. Yeah. Right? Should, oh, I, should I comment on that? Yeah, you can. Uh, <laughs> I, um, 
have grown up in a lot of hardcore bands and stuff like that. Some not hardcore bands, but I'm an idiot. And I love really, really big, loud, outdated equipment with vacuum tubes. And I love it when it's big and it's loud and instead of just hearing it, you feel it and sometimes it hurts and it's real neat. And that's like when I'm stuck in the power. At least in my opinion. I also have like shattered ass eardrums. They yeah. don't shatter, but like, uh, so like they have to be loud now for me to hear it. Um, so, I don't know. Amps are cool. You ever seen an amp before? They're real tight. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's cool that you play <laughs> you play very loud, aggressive music paired with Zoe's voice, which sometimes might not be very loud and aggressive. Which that's kind of a cool that's kind of a cool contrast, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, it's definitely when I wrote that first EP, um, I wasn't expecting it to turn out the way it is turning out. Um, it just keeps getting louder, which is. A lot of fun for me. Um, three, four, seven, or eight. Eight. Alright, this one's about me. Um, I'm not going to get into detail, but I have three kidneys. Cool. Well, now you have to get into detail. No, yeah. it's, nope. no I don't need to get into detail, but I have three kidneys. Because they like, put one in the wrong car sign. Probably. <laughs> Sorry. Just to say to everyone, pick up the record on softspeakrecords.com. Zoe has three kidneys. See ya. Well, see ya. Well, see ya.